Jeez, it's getting harder and harder to read the dang paper. You want to borrow my glasses? You know what? I think I would like to. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Hobby is with Jose everybody, good to have you here. We are on the cusp of finishing up our Studio Series 81 wheel jack, and normally on these final parts we just have a panel lining, dry brushing, and weathering left to do, but we actually do have a little bit of painting left, so let's get started with that. So one of the things I've been doing throughout the week is to mask out the final green sections and to get them airbrushed in, so let's go ahead and check our handiwork.
So here we are, yet again, at the completion of another project. And although I did have a great time working on him, say it with me, it was not without its issues. Going in though, I did know that for this figure, the most difficult part was going to be all of the intricate coloring, not just in robot mode, but in the vehicle too. I had initially decided to do decals for a lot of that work, but I knew that painting them in would just make the colors pop that much more and look a little bit shinier too. I do think it was worth the extra effort. It does look pretty good. I do have to say that moving forward, I'm going to be a lot more selective on what clear pieces I'm going to try and strip the paint. Thin sections like the windshield and even the tires are a big risk for cracking. In fact, when I reattached those tires to the figure, some of them did snap, forcing me to glue them in place so they can't rotate. Now the chunkier sections like the feet, I think we're relatively okay in stripping the paint, but it's still a risk. I'm definitely happy with the simplicity of the third party add-on as well, especially after having modified to be able to tilt the weapon upwards too. That was, that was a big plus for me. And although the hips themselves aren't quite as loose as they were before, they still move a little bit too freely. So I'll definitely be adding that Kiki's joint solution to them pretty soon too. Some of the robotic detailing on the figure does differentiate from what we see in the movie, partly because of how they have to design it for the articulation. So I wasn't too concerned about making it 100% accurate to the movie. I did add some copper paint to some little sections to make them pop and they really do shine. I'm happy with how that turned out. And that glowing effect that I tried to simulate on the side panels on the head, I think it overall Overall looks pretty good. It's certainly noticeable, and I think it accomplishes the look that I was trying to obtain. I mean, it's the next best thing to being able to install a little LED inside, which they're not even clear pieces, so you couldn't really do that. You will notice, however, he does not have his Autobot emblem. I know it's a white, silvery Autobot symbol that he has in the movie, and I tried to search for one online. Wasn't very successful at all. I know that Toy Hacks makes a sticker set for this figure, but I don't want to buy the entire set just to use the Autobot symbol, so I skipped on that one. So that's left blank for right now until I'm able to find one in the future. If you know of one, feel free to let me know down in the comments too. I would appreciate that. Gab in the Discord was kind enough to send me a link for an eBay, but that's in Australia, and the shipping... Didn't make sense either, so I'll keep looking. But other than that, I am happy with this figure. Could have been worse. I think it turned out great. I like it. <laughs> so as for what's coming up next, let's talk about the channel, shall we? I do think that my level of output recently has put a bit of a toll on me. So I'll just be blunt about it. I think it's time for me to stop making videos. On a weekly basis, come on, I'm not going anywhere. Just having a weekly update of breaking the projects up into multiple parts and then the finale videos, I think it gets to be a little bit much. So moving forward, each project will be its own standalone video and I'm going to aim to have one project per month. I think that's gonna be doable, but I won't have a deadline. It'll be ready when it's ready, but I do think just not having to have a video ready every week should facilitate that. So we'll see how it goes. But at this point, I don't actually know what's gonna be coming up next. I had some ideas, but I do think I'm gonna put up another poll pretty soon. So keep an eye out on the community tab and the socials as well. But I will be back before a month's time. Don't worry about that. I've got another box of awesome to open up and we're definitely having some more live streams too. But until then, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Take care.